Productions and y'all blowing me. And look, what is he? What is he? He's auditioning for the Disney Channel, <laughs> the midnight uh, coverage. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, is it? Calm down. You you see the camera, and he always want to do the most, just like his daddy. Um. So pretty much. We covering the Big Brother episode three uh, that we just seen, and that's pretty much uh, what is this uh, POV night? POV night. Mama, 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 mama. But I already am ahead of these hoes, so um, I already know. Lappy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already know what's going on with this, you know. So this to me, this was filler like, sh- but you know, we're gonna go through it. Um, but before we go through with it, make sure you guys like and subscribe to our channel. Subscribe and so, like. Sorry, I said R. Uh, subscribe that. My channel. My channel. My oh. channel. We do have the McNair's premieres where we do like, um, you can subscribe to that. The, premi- uh, the McNair's premieres channel. Um, we also do like um, uh, videos of like reaction videos to movie trailers and things like that. Yeah, so you can't subscribe to that. But subscribe to this first because it's my channel. And um, excuse this freaking oil that? that my son put on me as well. Because it's coming up in this video now and this bright light. And like, ew, freaking oil stain. I hate that. Anyway, if you ain't noticed that, just act like I ain't say that. Um, subscribe. subscribe to this channel. Try to get up to 500 subscribers. Because mm-hmm. I know I've been gone for a while and come back, be gone again. Come back, be gone again. My like, God, dang. let me get some consistency with this. So yeah, subscribe and I'll be here. Um, so, okay. Okay. So, pretty much it leaves off at the, uh, we started where it left off at the nomination um, ceremony and uh, Pretty yeah. pretty much, uh, Frenchie. What did I say about Frenchie? <laughs> he do it. <laughs> oh God, it's about to be. This this supposed to be short, or not that long, and it's about to freaking take a whole two hours to do with this guy. He about to go to sleep. And if we can't move to another room, because this fool move right, knocking on the door. I, I don't want to be on here with Granny. With Granny, what's up with this Granny game? They. These kids get, keep, keep getting scared of, it, but they keep watching the granny drink. Mm. Let me stop rambling, though. Back to Big Brother. Back to Big Brother, yeah. So we leave off at the uh, uh, nomination ceremony, and um, mm-hmm. pretty much Frenchie making a da- goddamn gonna fool of himself. Uh-huh. And we pretty much left off like last time. Who the big fish? Alyssa? <laughs> is Alyssa the big fish? What you think about that? I think the big fish is him. He messed up. I think the guy that just said that just now is really delusional because the big fish can't be the HOH. He, made, he messed himself well, up. Well, actually, you're kind of right because he, he, is, he is a big fish. He's a big fish because of all the competitions he won and the one he won for no goddamn reason. 
made yourself the big fish, and then you keep talking and doing all this freaking walking around the house for no reason, uh, going to the toilet, not using it. Yeah, you are looking like the big fish, but nobody want that catch of the day. Everybody want to throw that fish back in the water. So I don't know if that's no big fish or whatever. All right, all right, all right. Okay, but pretty much, um, yeah. Frenchie has it wrong. Alyssa is, uh, he, he think he's, she's in a showmance with, uh, Christian. And <laughs> he's delusional. They laughing in his face and all that. But I'm gonna get to that part. Um, Kylan crying and confused and crying. Like, he's sitting in the room all tearing up. Uh, he's talking about something he, uh, feels, uh, betrayed. By Frenchie because you know he thought he had his back, and as he should be because first of all you going around talking about some pretty no people of color and and no women are getting put up and a person of color and a woman get put up and then he goes on a tangent you know uh, you know obviously I would feel the same way but maybe I wouldn't cry I'm not sure but pretty much. He just he just break down because he like I get this all my life like somebody always making a fake excuse but really you're choosing me because of my skin color and whatever whatever and probably just because if I'm odd and you and I don't make sense to you and you're normal then life and the people you see and it's easier to pick me and to nominate me so I understand how you feel. Big D and Oz is like confused. They're like y'all confused because if if we confused I know y'all confused and I'm like. Boy, we confused, yeah. So we on the same page, and so he, he for real, for real, he the one playing for Twitter. Mm. They talk about some uh, Frenchie supposed to be playing for Twitter, though. Uh, Big D is playing for Twitter because he know exactly what people talking about right now. When he talk about some, I had a dream of fish. I was like, is that <laughs> is that my stepmom? Love, it seemed like he loved to go. Fish. Every time my stepmom woke up when we was in the house, I had a dream of Noah's Ark. Who pregnant? <laughs> Like, not I. You better check your daughter vagina because <laughs> every time she pop up with another girl. Exactly. But, uh, yeah. That reminded me of uh, Mama D, for real. Mm. But, yeah, so Alyssa pretty much uh, vents with her team, Christian, Sarah, and Xavier. I think they were like the kings or something like that. Yeah, so she vents with them and pretty much like what you got to say about that? Because this, like, that scene was dry as hell to me. Yeah, it was. But she vents. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and kept going. And she like, I trusted him. I he had the trust face. Like, who has the trust face? And Big Brother. Mm, I don't even know. understand that. And this boy fix sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> he feels the same way I feel about this scene and Alyssa. Mm -hmm. Crickets snore. <sighs> Daycare, you here yet? Like for real? <laughs> <laughs> I know you did not fall on his lap. No. He's really sleep. No. You playing too much. <laughs> but anyway, he cute when he sleep, even when he faking. Um. Then Kyle, yeah, that's, I already said that Kyle and Vince, and he becomes emotional. Um. To Big D, Tiffany, and um, and Aza, it's like you know, this is the comfort um center of it. To me, this whole episode was called Comfort Me, Please. Mm, everybody was emotional. Like, every scene that we went through was like some emotional scene where yeah, it was like... When they mm. cry, everybody runs to them and give them a hug. Man! Please don't hold me out. As soon as we get to one particular scene, which... Am I going to talk about? I don't know, but I'm like... Dang, a tear didn't even drop yet and everybody all scooting up together trying to freaking console the girl. Like... Yeah. God, that hey, this is please comfort me. Yeah, episode. Know. This is a filler episode. Like, but anyway, um, <laughs> so Alyssa and Christian think they're going to, like you think you're going to make it look better that you both coming up there to confront um uh Frenchie in the H O H room. You're proving his point point even more. Mm -hmm. But good thing you got the right fool. I mean, you you sure do got a um what's his name. On your hand, what's what's the name that he remind me of that guy uh, that have all the movies? The uh, oh yeah, uh, uh, what's his name? Scared straight. Uh, Ernest, Ernest, Ernest. 
Oh, Ernest scared straight. That's what he remind me of. Ernest scared straight, man. Yeah, I swear, Frenchie remind me of. Mm. <laughs> like he just like you see that? It, man, you like the way he act all around the house. He be popping up out of holes. You know, that, 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 that. That, that same and movie. he had the little the personalities. And he's like, I'm the grandma. Like he play a grandmother. He play a general in the war. And <laughs> yeah, I swear that's Frenchie. Ernest scared straight camp. Yeah, but anyway, they come up to him in the wow, HOH room wow. and confront him. Like, why? So why you put me up? I mean. Mm. Yeah, because you ain't giving no goddamn good speech. You like, huh. Kylie, <laughs> I need you to win this so that I can catch the big fish. The end. Like, that was the <laughs> most awkward big brother. That's gonna be, He know exactly what he was going to do so he could try to get on big brother as a, a moment of the past. You know, something that everybody can always go back to and be like, don't be that person. <laughs> As long as he's in that in that um, memorabilia, he don't even care if he look a fool, but he think he look cool. But anyway, he they they laughed in this dagger face. I said, "Frenchy look like a damn fool." I said, uh, "New targeted effect, pretty much, because they it, it took uh, Brett uh, Brent two two point five seconds to to say a soft story about what happened in everybody in real life." And then he like, oh, I misjudge you. Don't you think you're misjudging everybody then? And then look, it took another 2.5 seconds for them to come up together and be like, oh, we not. No, we not. Show me. All around him. Always. No, no, no. No, no show me. No show me. The whole time they about to go kiss in the back. So, pretty much, uh, Frenchie is looking like a goddamn on fool. So yeah, um, Frenchy looking like a fool, and he's like, this is like his fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, tenth target. I, I'm about <laughs> tired of this dag on HOH reign. I'm I'm ready to, for it to be um, abroad so they could uh, put the same little stigma on him. He was like, I already know anybody gonna target me. You know, I know I'm already in hot water because I had to do too much. Like, mm. don't give me that soft story because you exactly right. You exactly gonna get that. For real, for real. Yeah, Don't try to do no ver, uh, ver, uh, I can't even. Ver, 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 it's gonna come reverse back psychology on me, cause it's still my same mind still says, yeah, you ain't need to go on the block, cause you doing the most this whole week, and I'm, I'm just tired of you, tired of you already. You, you that little Black Lives Matter person that just like, I like black people. I got two <laughs> black friends. I, I be there for the calls. I put the sign in my window. Mm, I got a black dog. But they ain't in no front lines. You know what I'm saying? Just That's what I said. Do the most dot com. Um, and then Sarah gets emotional about being um, bisexual, pretty much. That's the one. <laughs> no, you, I'm not going to even. He's not going to even make me. I mean, you can't, not gonna I mean, how do you get emotional because of that? No, she's emotional. See, you didn't oh, see the oh, whole thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, he oh, walked okay. out. He walked out. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get me. Get him. He walked out on the scene because he tried to park his little car in the visitor spot. Yeah. Dang, tell Yeah. Cause then you're not about to get, you're not you're not about to get me strung up on my um YouTube channel. Man, you so did. she she uh being emotional about it because she felt like even though cause uh, I think bisexuals sometimes get a lot and this is this is just stories I've heard so far. Mm. Not coming from me. I'm not an expert in that. I'm definitely straight heterosexual, but like um with a tendency sometimes when I'm drinking. <laughs> you never know. But anyway, um <laughs> <laughs> Some like bisexuals get a bad rap. They just in the in the um LGBT. Uh, first of all, Frenchy, French, Frenchy, French. How do you say it? L G B C. Frenchy, why do you even care? Like Definitely. that, just don't, just don't. Leave it alone. Just, just let her hear the story. Like you always gotta have your mouth. Somewhere first in the conversation. Just sometimes sit back and listen and be like everybody else in the room and just listen to the story, cry, you know, tend to me and shut up. Like you always got, ah, I can relate. Like no, you cannot. Just sit down, please. Oh McDonald, freaking Ernest! I swear he always got to make a speech like Ernest. 
But yeah, but she she feel like sometimes it's it's uh, bisexuals get a bad rep because um pretty much they they feel like they can go in and out. They could just pick and choose uh to make their life right again. Whereas the other ones, when they make a choice, they have to live through that choice. They can't never go back to like you know you can't pray the gay away and such and such like that you know or. Or, or go in and out of different um, preferences. But when you're bisexual, you can, and your life could be right back on track again. Because she said her re- religion, when she um, grew up, you know, the way she grew up, her religion was really strong. But this girl that she's really in love with right now, her girlfriend. Uh, That's what made her talk to her friend. Yeah, because she really loved her. So I guess to me, it sounds like she really about to choose a side and it's about to turn from B to a L. That's what, that's what it looked like but to me. But when she started crying, like like everybody ran to her. Oh, this is, yeah, like everybody <laughs> just already started hopping out yeah, of this. Like, she, I'll give you a hug. She's like, and uh, cause you know when you do that little, when you try and talk and you're like, and um, um, <laughs> that little freaking jerk in your throat and everybody's, oh, oh, oh. But you know, one thing I put on here, I was like, Britney overly enthused that like why are you so enthused about I am so glad she told her story um she is so strong like why all that why why I was like girl please stop girl stop (laughs) why are you enthused and what you say what you say about uh Britney when no you remember when she said I am so Happy that she just told her story. Tell tell the world what you said. I don't remember. What you said, Brittany, like she could do? I don't remember. To Sarah? Oh, oh yeah. She had to eat her out. Oh, yeah, oh, the, See, it look like, look like she had she, her cornrows in. She like, said, look, look, yeah, he said, look like she want to eat. It look like she want to uh, uh, be a part of the story. Eat her out. I'm sorry, that okay. was that was just hilarious. <clears throat> but we're gonna get back on track because I don't want come on YouTube. Y'all <laughs> y'all be playing nipples and everything about Cardi B and wop 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 and macaroni in a pot. So mm. please don't do this to me. Ready? Um But pretty much we go to uh Frenchie targeting Derek X now because mm-hmm. this said, you know, everywhere he went and walking around like a stray dog to every room he see that Derek mm-hmm. X was pretty much right there. leading the conversation and stuff. Like because he's popular. Oh, I'm sorry for you, Frenchie. Um so he he calls him out in front of Travis, Whitney, and Brent. Um while they was outside in the backyard. He called him out and I know you are a part of um alliance and he was just like, oh okay. Okay. You know somebody nonchalantly just saying, okay, all, all right, okay. That don't mean they saying yeah. That means they saying okay. okay. I'm a. I don't know what you're talking about, but okay, all right, okay. And then the alliance he probably think you're talking about is like just what Alyssa thought you was talking about. The alliance that we have as being teammates. I mean, we gotta work as a team, so we are alliance because we gotta beat y'all in the competitions in order to gain safety. So like, are you talking about that? Okay. Okay, I know you're part of the alliance, but why are you Daddy. calling me out? You know, why are you really calling me out? But um, they got them in a, him in the confessions like he knew what was going on and like and 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 making Derek X act like he had some sense of the game. You, you that that didn't go down like that. You you just set yourself up and put your foot in your mouth. And then you took that bait that he was throwing out there with all that dumbness. That because I would have definitely threw his ass, you know, off, you know. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and had to censor, you know. Oh, yeah. I would have definitely threw him off. Like, what are you talking about? Like, boy, if you don't go in your HOH, your your reign is over. You know, you hit, this is your last uh, week right here being HOH, right? For now, like somebody else will be a HOH. You won't be able to be HOH next week. What are you talking about? Why you want to create drama right now? Zed, don't do that. You're gonna um. Knock over the camera, and I don't want you to do that. Yeah, he he is whack, we really whack. Um, and uh, Derek X, you ain't know nothing. You were saying, um, they they made you um record over over after all that happened, and they made you really think about it. They probably gave you a hint what was going on. Then they re-recorded that for 
this episode right here with you acting like you had some sense and knowledge of what was going on to you, you know, happening to you with, with Frenchie. And I, I know, looking at the live feeds, that you did not have a clue what he was talking about. And then in the episode, you saw that, he's like, so you're going to call me out? Why is he just calling me out like that? Like, no, you was not thinking that. You was like, uh-huh, okay, huh, I guess. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like you, you just was clueless, just like how he is. Um, and then on top of that, I was like, la- we was laughing. He took all that trash to you, mm. and you go and help him. Oh, I, I got it. Oh, you need help with the. You need help with the um the sliding door. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I would have did just like freaking Dave Vaughn uh, slam that joint. Oh, I wish thanks. somebody would. He said, he said all things. Happy you took all that to trash, me. called me out and everything, took my, and then you struggling with your plate. <laughs> and you and your plate. I would have opened that joint and, oh, and made sure I closed oh, it right behind me. You know how you been petty and somebody come in and you, and you mad at them, you close that joint right behind them. <laughs> so you, <laughs> they got end up sliding that joint. You know how heavy slide doors could be. And that big brother joint look like it'd be hard as a mug. Every season, somebody be like dragging that joint. That joint look like it's heavy. Um, so yeah, I I just noticed that I was like, I would not hold no door open for you and you talking on that trash. You are you targeting me and you gonna try to backdoor me? B you better get your slide your own door. I matter of fact, I'm about to knock that plate out your goddamn <laughs> <gonna> hand. Like <laughs> you know, like I would have did something petty like that. But then just like finger guns, I would have been gone. And uh look again. Come to the diary room real, real quick. Okay, we gonna let make you exit right here. You knocked the plate out of his hand. That was aggressive. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, shouldn't talk about you going back door somebody. Mm. That's what you get in these BB streets. Mm. But anyway, let me stop rambling. So, uh, uh, what I say? Uh, yeah, yeah. Brent, Brent is going. We see, we see him in the uh, train giving um Derek X the little freaking BB. Uh, parent speech. That's what I said. Cause you know, like, you know, I got you. You, you know, not. I know you got your back. You know, you owe me your life in this game. You know, I'm this and I'm that and I'm. Di- oh my God, he be whining about anything. Boy, if you don't take your crybaby self to sleep, he auditioning for Disney Channel, y'all. So don't mind him. He's definitely auditioning. Look at his face right now. Looking like Macaulay Culkin. In the good son, and you know what? If y'all seen the good son, you know what that Macaulay Culkin is manipulating like that is not. This is not the the cute Disney Channel. This is the good son. You see the good son, Tiz? Look at the good son. <laughs> y'all right, right. All right, back to Big Brother. Yeah, that, that little parent speech you gave, um, freaking Derek X, and he actually listened to your dumb ass. Why? You ain't earned nothing nope. in these baby streets for you to be talking about giving somebody some advice. You ain't even you ain't even talk to the H O H. Talk about some. I'm gonna be away from this. You did the same thing Kimmy did. I ain't going up there to kiss his ass. I'm going to wait to give him some space or whatever. And then your A was on the lips mm-hmm. of him, you know? You ain't, you don't need to get nobody no speech at all. That's what I felt about that. Anyway. <laughs> so, Big D, uh, Tiffany, and Ozzy, they talk about um, trying to uh, be on here together to show our culture on TV for the culture. This is for the culture. We got to make sure we protect each other pretty much and have each other's back and then um xavier slide in there i seen this on the live feeds as well um it was a good little conversation but pretty much um tiffany was saying yeah but we can't do this all the time like we can't be all around each other and i'm like yeah you definitely sure can't because so soon as um Bailey came in with her braids and Davon just just help her um freaking plait the end of her you know refresh her braids at the end of her braids they're like oh yeah they teaming up together we gotta get them out you know two girls and, and they connected off her head oh yeah we gotta get them out you know it be it just be like that so you just can't be seen even if you don't be seen together they still gonna lump us together like well 
Even though we was on a slave ship and we was all lumped together, we ain't no no speak of the same language. You like I I blah blah blah, ooh goo goo goo, blah blah blah, ooh goo goo goo. Nobody know nothing, and I, let me not do that because that's making us seem like straight ape or whatever. But I don't know these languages. But I'm just giving you a sense of the fact that a ga ga ga, a goo goo goo. Nobody know the same language, so all we had was. Mm, Like all we had was freaking hymns and and like oh yeah it's time to rock and roll you know uh songs to each other when we had to gang up and, and get that in you know so to me they always lump us together is my point always lump us together no matter what like oh yeah even though i might don't like her i don't might don't like him but they gonna lump us together just because our skin complexion period per, pretty much period um, anyway, they call it the cookout, and uh -oh. they, they finally showed that the cookout lines was formed. It was not as fast as this um, casual um, show was um, showing just now. It's, it was not that fast at all. It, it took several actual uh, live feeds for them to finally say it, because uh, in a point, they act like they were so afraid to say it because, uh, oh, freaking um, Ernest, <laughs> scared <laughs> straight camp. Uh, he got people scared to say the A word alliance, so you know, everybody was like, I don't want to say it yet. I don't want to say it. I don't, I mean, it is, but I don't like let's keep it on a hush right now. So they finally said it. Um, cookout, they want to bring Callan, um, uh, on board. I think you should not. Um, I know he's of the cult, the culture, and he is, um, brown skin as well. He is also, um, to me, he an airhead. Like he air, he he give me dingy airhead from for real, for real vibes. Just, just he, like he airhead about every situation. I mean, I I feel bad for him and and all that. And he's very emotional. I don't know if he's gonna make emotional moves and all that stuff too. And he can't hold water. And he don't have no freaking. He he's gonna mess up the cookout for the culture. Mm. And the girl with the braids, um, the young lady with the braids, she was like, um, you know, there's only one person can win. Oh yeah, she bad. Hey, you took out my little my little joint or whatever. Yeah, she was like, shoot, just call me the grill master because I know at the end of the day, everybody can be a part of the cookout. You know, mm -hmm. it's it's gonna come to an end at some point. But I'm the grill master because I'm the one making the food. So I guess I'm the last one because you know the grill master always the last one to eat, the lead the party and all that. Ain't like you got cook all day and clean up. So she will be the last one. <laughs> But yeah, I, I don't think Callan is a good addition. I mean, just because we have the same skin and all that, and and um, culture, the culture and all that, sometimes it always is one rotten apple in the culture where we gotta like, gotta murk them, gotta murk them because we gotta save the rest of us. You acting stupid, you know. And and to me, he one of them right now. He he ain't acting with no good sense of any BB like intelligence of the game or anything. Um, or common sense. Okay, but um, pretty much the veto's our pick because I did a whole ramble for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the veto players are picked. Uh, uh, Tiffany was picked, um, and Derek X was uh, picked. And then I, I was like, side note, did he just do the Millie Rock? Millie Rock, wah, wah. He Millie rocked his way up, up. Uh, I think you might want to put him part of the cookout. Yeah, he, he really rock, really rock, pop, 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 pop. Like he, he. I was like, I never seen nobody really rock on um Big on Big Brother. Yeah. And then you, not even the black people in the cookout for the culture. Is why do we see this guy right there? <laughs> They're supposed to be asleep. And all you see is thick, thick freaking pull up in the back. But anyway, like yeah, it's not even it was not even a black person or nothing that did the Billy Rock. It's a freaking Asian dude that did the Billy Rock. Mm. Okay, y'all showing off y'all little dance skills. He like he's showing that he went to his hip hop class. All right, I see you. Um, uh, Travis um was picked uh by um Kylan because he had house uh, guest choice or whatever. 
And then it's Alyssa and, you know, Arvison Collins. They the, they the ones. Whatever. whatever. So, then we go to the Beto game. And I forgot. I don't even know if they named it. Did you hear the name of the game when you was gone by that time? I don't know. But, yeah, I don't remember the name of the game. But I just know in order to win, this is what you have to do. You have to roll the cherry from the top of the glass to the bottom of the cup hole. Um, and yeah. while using the garnishes um, to help guide the roll, so you have to pretty much arrange the garnishes in a way so that it can ping off each other to roll in the hole. Hmm. Don't that sound familiar? Huh? It sound familiar? With the game? Or? Don't don't everything about this game look familiar into something we've seen all season long on another show? Yes, Big Brother Canada, oh, a ripoff okay. once again. Uh, I, I believe. I like, I like Canada though. Canada did two games where you have to ping stuff off of something because didn't um, the Reign of Terror win? That's when she got her first hypeness and won that freaking POV. That's when she first got started in her reign when she won that POV and she had to ping that ball. She had to make sure she turned. The circular object, you know, things, ping, ping pong circular things uh, to a certain degree so that when she bounced that ball off of one and bounced on the other and bounced onto the other thing and bounced all the way to the end to get into that one little uh, cup, that hole, in order to, um, her ball had to drop in that hole. <laughs> that, and then they did another game like that on Big Brother, I mean, Big Brother Canada. Big Brother U.S. Like y'all can't be a little original. I, y'all trying to do it with the garnishes and make it look like it's cute or whatever. And that we don't even get no that da- they gonna drink garnishes in the casino. And then Big Brother had to wait for Canada to put a like a lot of black people in for them to put black people in. That's because that pressure was coming to them. Because I was one of them saying, "Okay, um, Julie Chen, she like y'all ready for Big Brother season?" I'm like, "Yeah, we ready to see the diversity because uh, you got a lot." To um make up for because Canada Arissa uh, the Arissa, cookout Arissa Cox, yeah she she rolling rocking and rolling with that cast so you got a lot to make up for in Big Brother U S you know it's it's not just season nice. fifteen it's season fifteen and, and just up the whole season literally and and some from the past as well but anyway that's that because I think I went on another rant. <laughs> So, um, Derek X, to me, he obviously and clearly is the winner of this. Like, it was a clear winner. Nobody was nowhere near, pretty pretty much. Um, He basically used everyone's top strategies uh, after they had perfected their top strategies. He was already perfecting his bottom one. Once he perfected his bottom one, which is the most important one, he like... (laughs) He used everybody else's um um strategy at the top, but he perfected the bottom one first. Obviously, mm-hmm. the bottom one is the most important one that you're supposed to do first because hey, what's the good with the top if you don't got the bottom right? You're still gonna be struggling. So that's what he did, and that was the smartest strategy. Everybody else was just just trying anything over and over again. So pretty much. Um, we get a bunch of conversations that I'm definitely not going to go over because I already know from the live feeds. But everybody trying to save their, you know, they trying mm-hmm. to save their A. Mm-hmm. Um, so pretty much, um, don't do that. Stop. Go back over there with daddy. Mm-hmm. Oh. So pretty much, um, Alyssa and um, Kylan, obviously. I don't even know if Kylan even put in no work. That's the thing. He just was in the room crying while the whole time uh, <laughs> right, uh, right. Alyssa was up there freaking putting in more work. But anyway, at the end of the day, the veto was used by Kylan. I mean, sorry, used on Kylan by Derek X. And then um, Travis is the replacement nominee. So we're going to see tomorrow what it's looking like. It's a whole big mess of an mm-hmm. HOH rain. <laughs> I, I can't wait to see when he loses the HOH. Who gonna hold him in? Oh, when he can't, he can't play. 
He's still a newbie, y'all. He, he's still getting the instructions and all that on BB right, you know. But he can't play in HOH no more. Not not right now, not the next week. He has to wait a week. He got to wait a week and a whole. Because once you're HOH, you can't play that next week. So you got to hope that you have good relationships build and all that in that alliance in order to survive to the week that you can play. So he's in hot water, pretty much. Boring. But that's it for um this BB episode three, mm-hmm. guys. Make sure you subscribe, subscribe, and make sure you like, and make sure you put that in the comments, and make sure you put Say the something. notification, yeah. hit that notification bell. But make sure you subscribe definitely because I'm trying to get my channel to 500. Bye, that's bye, my bye. goal within a couple of months of this, you know. Just throw a pie. Hopefully, you know, faster than a month. Um. And then I'm going to hope that I can get to a thousand so that mm. I can have a Q and A party question. Mm. I mean, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to like, you know, rock out with y'all, have our drinks and all that. We can ask me anything. We're gonna be loose and all that. We just gonna have some fun with it when when we reach a thousand subscribers. So, mm-hmm. on that note. We holla. Bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Say bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube.